Okay guys, Crewman coming at you with another profitability video. This will be a different one as it's a very interesting profitability video that will go over a lot of information on uh, the coins that I'm mining. And I wanted to do this pre-Ironfish launch. Now this might come out uh, around or during the Ironfish launch. Hope it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Uh, but I just want to talk about what profitability was like before Ironfish because for better or for worse, we've got another coin entering the fray and we're gonna see how it's affecting GPU mining uh, in the next two hours, basically. As I'm filming this, it is 9.45, 9.45 Eastern Standard Time and we've got two hours and 14 minutes left till Ironfish. So anyway, without further ado, let's go over the profits this week. So first, let's start with Caspa. And I wanna go over the network hash rate of Caspa. Uh, as you can see, let's go, let's start around April 5th when we had the pump. Uh, we were at about 781 on the terahash. And then it started slowly going up uh, as we had that pump about a week later, April 11th or 12th, it went to about 988 terahash. And then the ASICs hit. And they hit, I would say, probably around a week ago. So let's just say April 15th to 16th. And we went from, you know, we went from like nine or 821 terahash all the way up to about 1.1 petahash. Almost a 20, almost a 25% jump in the network. Now, curiously though, network hash rate has gone down since then. Uh, we're about a 1.13 petahash. Now I would say that's just GPUs that are late to pulling off. Let's look at, let's actually look at the Casper price. We're actually up 16% today. Um, we're down 15% for the week. We're up 64% in the last 30 days. So Caspa is definitely not really profitable GPU mine right now. Now obviously that could change. You know, it, it, um, it was very profitable for a long time. Um, even when the network was lower, I was mining it with at least one AMD rig. So anyway, Caspa is, um, you know, I don't think it's profitable to mine right now. I think if you're using GPUs, it's it's just not there. Now that could change in the future, but you know, right now, eh. But, but that could change in the future. So let's move on to Nexa. Now let's look at the Nexa hash rate. Now we're looking at the one month mark. Uh, it was down for quite a bit and I was quite enjoying it. When I say down, I use the term very loosely. It was about 10 terahash. And then as we got to that big Nexa pump, it jumped up to about 22 terahash. And, and then it went up to about 25 terahash during the height of the pump. But we've gone down a little bit recently. You know, it's gone down to about 20 terahash. And that's where it's about, or about 22 terahash right now. So it, the Nexa hash rate is going down, which is nice. Uh, but then again, so is the price. Uh, now it's, it's, we're having a little bit of a pump. It is up. 6.1% uh, over the last 24 hours, down 17% in the last seven days, but it is up 77% in the last 30 days and 144% in the last 90 days, which is nice. Now, you know, we're starting to get to the point where, you know, the 90 day is gonna keep going down because we're not in December's crazy price. The price started to go up slowly. Um, so I think you'll see the 90 day go down a little more again. None of this is financial advice. It's just me speculating So but Nexa is still profitable to mine on GPUs. Uh, I don't think there are ASICs on it yet We'll uh, we'll see how it goes um, You know and again at the end of this video I will explain to you what I'm mining what my strategy is So let's move on to Zill on minor step mining pool stats and I mean the Zill hash rate is just all over the place uh, It just basically I mean it's definitely down right now it just kind of seems like it is, um, you know, it just kind of jumps depending on what coins you can mine with Zill um, because, you know, Zill is just basically free profit. As far as the price goes, Zill's down 7% in the last 24 hours. Uh, it is up 5% in the last seven days. Uh, Zill definitely wasn't following the trends of Casper and Nexa, Nexa this week, which was I mean, it was just different. I don't really know why, but it just wasn't following it. We're up 10% for the last 30 days and 23% for the last um, 90 days. So, you know, Zill is one of those things you should just mine. If you're mining basically any GPU mineable coin, you should just be mining Zill because it's just free profits. 
and what you choose to do with it, you know, is up to you. Now let's go to a coin that's been around for a little bit, but I didn't feel the need to mine for better or for worse, and I just started mining it in the last few days, probably the last week and a half, two weeks actually. So right now, we're going over the network hash rate. Uh, basically at the time of, of its big pump, which was uh, probably around the first of the month, uh, the hash rate went from 14 terahash all the way up to 228 terahash, so it exploded. Um, quite interestingly though, as the price of Nexa has gone down, so is the hash rate. So we're at we're down about 25% in the last week, which is quite a big jump. Uh, you know, and it's definitely um it's definitely one of those coins I think people moved over to once they realized that Casper wasn't profitable. And you know, I don't know why people are leaving. Maybe they're jumping on Ironfish now, maybe they're shutting off. Who knows? Um, but as far as Radiance price, over the last 24 hours, it's gone up 2%. It's down 7% over the last six day, seven days, but over the last 30 days, obviously you can see it is up 659%. In the last 90 days, 419%. So if you were one of those people that jumped on Nexa early, oh, good for you guys. Let's go over my profitability numbers now. So as you guys can see in the image, um, I just have the shed and my garage. Um, the watts and the kilowatt are actually a, um, a column over. It, I forgot to change the columns. It's weird. Sorry about that. But I just have the shed and the circuit and the watts and the kilowatt hours. And you get your kilowatt hours, you take the watts times the hours running. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, on the garage, I add 15% because the numbers from the wall and the software usually aren't correct in Hive, so that's just a baseline. Uh, the 120 amp number is just what I'm mining off basically a 4090, so I'm just using the power draw on that because I don't really mind with my gaming 4090 right now. Uh, I should, I just don't, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so my total kilowatt hours if I were to mine this configuration this month with all the GPUs I currently have, mining the coins I currently are, I am mining. Now remember, all of my garage, um, sorry, all of my shed numbers are based off actual numbers from the wall. So this is pretty accurate. Um, I'm using 8,283 kilowatt hours. And then you can see I have my distribution that I pay, which is about seven and a half cents. And then I pay a delivery fee of 493. So the guesstimate of my bill, not including my house, would be 1070 a month. Now my kilowatt rate per kilowatt hours, it's about $0.12, cents, but when you add in the house electric, it goes down to about $11. Um, so per day, it costs me, basically, you take that shed number, I'm sorry, that guesstimate of the bill, and you divide it by 31, and you're at about $35 a day to mine. You can divide it by 30 or 31. I, I just do 30. If I did 31, it would drop it down a dollar. Um, so anyway, as you can see, uh, you can see what I'm mining. I'm mining Caspa, Zill, uh, Radiant, Nexa, and Raptorium. I only have one GPU or one rig on Caspa, and that's only because I just haven't gotten around to moving it. I will be moving that rig today. Um, I just, you know, I've been busy. So I'm at about a $5.16 loss per day right now. And I have been for about the last week, but I don't sell right away. So I'm, I'm very okay with that. Uh, as you know, as this year has taught, taught me, these random rises in coin pumps have uh, resulted in a pretty, um, pretty substantial profit for me. And when I say substantial, I just mean as far as GPU mining, I don't, I don't, I'm not making nearly enough to live off of or or even as a side income. This is basically just a hobby that's profitable and you can make you know, a side hustle money on it. So, yeah. So as far as what I plan on mining, uh, I will be moving, as you guys all know, in about an hour and 56 minutes as of this recording, um, Iron Fish is going to launch and a lot of people are excited for it. Uh, for the next day or two, at least for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be taking it day by day. I will be moving my entire farm to Iron Fish and we will see how it goes. Other than that, um, you know, I will continue mining Radiant because I do really like the price appreciation and I really feel like the hash rate has kind of dropped off. I'm sorry, that's Zill. Uh, I really feel like the hash rate has dropped off quite a bit and I will continue to mine Nexa as well. Um, but one coin that I am going to start mining that I do kind of like is Octospace. So what I'm going to be doing 
in the next day or two is I'm going to be taking a 3070 and pulling it off a rig and I'm going to be doing a heavy testing with Zill, Octospace and Iron Hash or Ironfish to see how it goes. Um, currently I am splitting my mining between uh, Radiant and Nexa with that one AMD rig on Casper which I am pulling off. Um, it was fun while it lasted, K1 pool was great, it's just it's not worth mining Casper anymore. So I'm definitely going to be doing some combination of Octospace, Nexa, Radiant, uh, Zill, and Ironfish. Uh, I will be going off the entire farm to Ironfish because, you know, in, in my humble opinion, this will be the most yield you will ever get. And I do believe that one of the things I'm going to be making a video on soon is that we should be chasing yields and not profits. You know, obviously you have to look at the price appreciation. You have to take a gamble. I mean, this is all gambling. We're, we're all coin mining here. But I really, really feel strongly that you must chase profits or you must chase yields and not profits. Um, as for what I sold, I had a little bit of profits that I made from uh, selling some ETH dip uh, when I bought the dip and sold it that I used to pay for my electric. That along with Zill, I sold my entire Zill bag. Uh, right before the dump, at, right before the 10% loss, actually, which was quite nice. Um, I sold it when it was when it was at a time. So I was able to keep my Nexa, Caspa, and Radiant bags. So I won't have to sell again for uh, probably another 20 days, for another 30 days, when I have to sell to pay for half my power. So yeah, that's really it. Um, like I said, you know, I, if, I, if there's anything to take out of this, it's that I think mining for a small loss is fine, especially only five bucks a day. You know, it was two weeks ago, I was literally at 40 to 70 bucks a day profit. So, you know, everything jumps all over the place and it just goes to the whims of the market. So, you know, chase yields, not profits, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is going to be a great week for GPU mining. We've got Ironfish coming up. It's not every day you get a new crypto that everybody's this excited about. So, Please like and subscribe. I'll get you some Iron Fish content and some other crypto mining content soon. Good man out.